Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a hack how to use multiple gesture on an iOS 10 device. Um, I got the AirPods for about a week right now. I really love them. The only thing that, that's annoying me is that you only got one gesture. That's a double tap and a double tap access Siri. Um, Apple released in the WWDC last week a multiple gesture of yeah, it's just the same gesture or double tap, but you can access more features like uh, skip a song or previous song. But it's only available at iOS 11. And if you can wait uh, till autumn, because that will be the public release, uh, here's uh, how uh, an hack how to use um, the same features on iOS 10. What you gotta do is um, have a device that you don't use a lot, because uh, on that device you can install iOS 11 beta. And how you do that is go to Safari, enter this link. The link will be in the, script, in the description and just install the profile and then allow. I already did this and uh, I'm on iOS 11 beta one right now. Uh, as you can see, here's the control panel and here the, the new bar. And what you do is uh, go to the, uh, to the settings menu Open up the airports and connect them. And once they are connected, just enter the I for more information. And here you can see the left or the right airport. And you could do different gestures on that uh, or different type of actions. Uh, in this example, in my left ear, it's the previous track and I will make it a Siri and in my right ear I will say next track automatic air detection and that's it now I will disconnect my airpods and I will connect it to my iPhone 5 as you can see I'm running my iPhone 5 on version 10.3.2 and what I will now do just one moment is that I will connect my airports then uh, it's connected I will uh, put both airports in my ear then I will start some music it's playing music at the moment and when I tap on my right ear two times you will see that it will go to the next song. Again, tap to my right ear and skip to the next song. This is how you can use uh, multiple gestures on iOS 10. I hope it will help you as well. And thank you for watching my video.